It's a deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday trading session, the 21st of Dev February 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and visit Trade Signal for the uh, latest uh, trade signals and updates. Okay, market updates. Now, you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of numbers, Asian markets overnight higher again. Okay, the uh, Nikkei finishing up 0.6%, the Hang Seng actually finishing down, the Shanghai finishing up 0.4%. So, given the uh, Asian market uh, movements at the moment, slight bias to the upside, although it has been negated by weaker earnings from HSBC. You can see the Shanghai index now coming into resistance and therefore looking for risk off there. Uh, in terms of the Nikkei, uh, you're still um, basically languishing. You have gap fill resistance here. Uh, you certainly have put in a potential top. Okay, and now looking to potentially move low in my uh, understanding. Okay, especially with the USDJPY where it is, and uh, the actual uh, economic data certainly being on the on the weaker side as well. So, so certainly bear that in mind. We had uh, exports down yesterday from uh, from Japan. Okay, now into European session thus far. You have the FTSE uh, nub down or well, negative five points, although it was more than that at one time, given the HSBC earnings certainly missing. You've got Anglo American and um, uh, hey, you've got Anglo American and BHP Billiton both actually beating uh, on the upside. So bear that in mind. You have Anglo American and BHP certainly beating on the upside, but both are uh, acting or reacting negatively thus far, given the fact that uh, uh, the rally that we've seen almost by uh, forty to fifty percent probably even more certainly has price in all that bullish news so bear that in mind okay uh, in terms of other economic data you have had uh, economic data from the eurozone uh, chf exports and imports certainly on the weaker side therefore uh, negative from my understanding interp interpretation uh, cpi data actually came in slightly weaker from france uh, market pmis have uh, come in weaker from france too okay bear that in mind Although the uh, composite PMI certainly came in and services PMI certainly came stronger from, Pran from France. In terms of Germany, Germany certainly has been very stellar, uh, certainly beating an all fronts composite services and manufacturing, all beating in terms of the PMI data. Eurozone PMI data certainly coming in stronger as well. Okay, and uh, Mr. Carney's speech so far certainly has been dovish. And that's the way which has been interpreted given the fact that he's talking down. Uh, potential uh, inflation uh, creeping into the UK market and again that's sending sterling down and certainly helping the uh, the balls from that perspective European equities certainly rallying on the back of a weaker euro as well uh, it's, it's the irony of that is the fact that uh, the euro is weaker due to uh, Le Pen concerns with yields rising across the eurozone given the uncertainty that Le Pen has and her uh, polls certainly show her obviously uh, increasing in uh, in confidence and increasing in numbers as well so that will be interesting going forward and from my understanding and my perspective is that given the fact that the markets are at such lofty ranks and we have HSBC earnings missing by almost 60 percent uh, adding political uncertainty you are looking and also US market US equities certainly topping out from my uh, perspective here certainly looking top heavy uh, and uh, your US equity is certainly going into a risk off mode, which obviously will trigger selling in the uh, global markets and uh, in the European markets too. Okay, so that's the uh, situation we are at present. Let's look at the technical picture now that the fundamentals certainly have been catered for. Daily chart, German DAX, we're back into that double top resistance. Certainly very impressive, folks. On the weekly chart, you are into resistance as well. On the German DAX, you can see this zone here. Uh, key resistance in this zone. If we break above here, then you are bringing back in 12,000. Okay, looking to break 12,000 and uh, potentially go higher. So keep an eye on the German DAX. Interesting, interesting scenario thus far. Going to the 10 minute chart, you are now into overbought territory. The uh, RSI, uh, stochastic as well, both into oversold and uh, certainly looking at uh, pivot R3 resistance. or so you are into pivot R3 resistance with an unfilled gap left behind at 11.750 and uh, Another one below at uh, 11,670. So both indicating risk aversion, looking for that those gaps below to close. Going over to the CAC 40, CAC 40 remains weak. Even though the German DAX certainly is strong, CAC 40 certainly remains weak. Now just take, connecting the pivot highs here. So you are looking at a lower high and the target remains the gap below at uh, 4,830. So watch out for 4,830 below. That's your potential gap level below and looking to target. So lower lows, lower highs. Uh, daily chart the French CAC you certainly have topped out here folks again from my perspective the ideal target is 4630 that's the target you would be looking for below so watch out for that okay in terms of the 10 minute chart certainly have bounced over double bottom support at 4850 
certainly looking to push high on the back of stronger PMIs out of Germany. And uh, we'll see whether or not that uh, uh, stronger PMIs can negate the uh, weaker, uh, uh, well, but certainly bearish bias from the uh, political uncertainty in the Eurozone. So bear that in mind, okay, in terms of of markets moving forward okay right in terms of the uh, FTSE 100 now uh, the HNS formation certainly has been negated this is the trade that I was in initially I shorted overnight certainly profited on the plus 25 I actually shorted again once we got back into this zone here retest of the neckline and that hasn't been the case it's failed to hold so just bear that in mind okay certainly has failed to hold even this diagonal trend line was expecting that to hold certainly failed to hold taking the pivot high to pivot low we're into that fib 70 well 61 percent now you have horizontal resistance here as well see if this holds if this doesn't hold and you're looking at the next resistance at 7305 then you're looking at 7310 hence my stop loss is above at 7315 so certainly looking for multiple uh, levels of resistance before we actually attempt to uh, move higher so again keep an eye on that unfortunately oh, certainly is being supported by mr carney's dovish comments and the uh, spike in the uh, price of oil as well so just bear that in mind okay so lower lows lower highs it'd be interesting to see if we can sustain that daily chart after yesterday's doji candle okay uh, and topping tail certainly looking for a flush and a continuation lower okay going back to the 10 minute chart the FTSE 100 now again looking for that lower high 60 minute, 60 minute chart you're looking at bear flag formation so this bearish engulfing candle that was triggered on the back of hsbc earnings uh, miss okay so you're looking for that to hold and then obviously the the actual uh, FTSE following through and testing that 7 to 60 and potentially lower okay so looking for that bear flag to certainly play out okay now in terms of the uh, euro stocks last but not least just quickly go over that the technical picture there uh, daily charts certainly indicating a top okay so looking at a double top triple top resistance 60 minute chart from my understanding certainly remains weak looking for a lower high here given the fact that we made a lower low and the 10 minute chart certainly from my perspective certainly i was looking to short it at uh, 3315 at uh, the gap fill zone or the opening level uh, and we are now looking to retest at 3330 so we'll see uh, how far the euros or european equities can move in terms of the market now again i was expecting hsbc earnings to certainly hurt sentiment and obviously the uh, the uncertainty regarding um, uh, france as well to certainly hurt sentiment also with regards to greece a uh, number of factors okay and also with us equities certainly topping out as well on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly visit Trade Signal of Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.